We're going to be tying the Crazy Charlie classic bonefish pattern. Uh, I've got a Tiemco number 6, 811S. We could go down to a 10, up to a 4, uh, maybe even as high, big as a 2. I've got some 6-aught uh, tan uni thread. I'm going to start right behind the eye, lay a nice firm base of thread as we always do. I'm going to take the thread back to approximately the barb. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take about six to eight strands of pearl flashaboo. Uh, I'm going to cut those off. Contain with a little bit of saliva. I'm going to lay that down the shank, kind of helping to keep a nice even body. Time being, I'm just going to extend that off to the side. I've got a piece approximately three and a half to four inches long of clear medium vinyl rib. Again, to make sure that that body's nice and even, I'm going to lay that, that uh, V rib down to approximately three quarters down the shank, leaving myself room to tie in eyes and a wing. Advance my thread forward to that three quarter mark. Take the strands of pearl flashaboo, I'll wind them forward towards the three quarter mark. It's going to give a little bit of underlying flash, really light up that V rib, uh, give it a nice kind of clear, sparkly look. I'll tie the flashaboo so that it extends straight off of the eye, just for temp temporary. Again, use a little bit of saliva to help keep everything under control. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the V-rib and I'm just going to wind that forward over the flash boo that we just laid down. It's going to give it a nice segmented look and again, that flash boo really lights up when you put the V-rib over the top of it. At this point we can kind of snip that V-rib off, contain that stub in with a few more wraps of thread. Now I'm going to take some medium gold bead chain eyes. Um, again, this is a bonefish pattern. Sometimes we're searching for them in six inches of water. Sometimes we're searching for them in six feet of water. You want to vary the eye size uh, to help get the fly to the level of the fish. So, you know, real skinny, you might not have any eyes on it at all. Real deep, you might have a set of lead eyes. I'm going to figure eight these eyes right into place. A little bit of a pain to get that flash boo in and out of there, but not that big of a deal. If you have a rotary vise, you can just turn it upside down. If you don't have a rotary vise, you can actually pull the fly out of the jaw and turn it upside down for the next step. One of the advantages of a rotary. Uh, it's time to tie in the wing. I've got a root beer colored uh, calf tail here. Um, if you find that your, your hair is not very even on, on the tail, you know, we try to be selective when we buy materials, but not always, you know, that's the case that you're going to get perfect materials every time. Um, you might use a hair stacker to even up your tips. If you've got a relatively decent tail, you probably won't have to stack it. So measure out a nice little wing. I'm going to remove the under fur as much as possible so I don't have a whole bunch of bulk at the tie-in point. I like to hold it with my dominant hand, right or left, depending on you know your situation, uh, and just kind of measure the tips out so that they extend just past the bend of the hook. Then I'm going to switch hands to my left hand so that I've got an accurate measurement. I know that if I tie in here, then the wing is going to be the length that I desire. Snip off the tag ends. I'm going to lay that wing down right in front of that crystal flash. fairly well. I'm going to take the crystal flash now and I'm just going to fold it right over that head. I'm 
I'm going to end up cutting that crystal flash just approximately even with the end of the tips. Make a few more wraps here on the head just to tighten it up, neaten it up a bit. Now for durability purposes, I like to use a little drop of Zap Gap or some sort of uh, super glue type compound. I'll flip it over again, put a drop right between the eyes, let it dry, and that way we've got a, a good, uh, uh, you know, durable pattern. Uh, again, Crazy Charlie, famous bonefish fly.